Good morning, Prince of Peace students. Happy birthday today to Darren in K in kindergarten, KM. Let's join together in morning prayer. Usually, the first Christians were a small group in a town. They lived communally. That is, they shared all their food, money, clothes, and homes with one another. Religious communities still live that way. Today is the feast of St. Peter Chanel, a missionary priest who spread Christianity in the South Pacific region. We also remember St. Louis de Montfort, who preached extensively on God's mercy. St. Louis de Montfort also had a strong devotion to Mary. When I was a young girl in junior high, like our seventh and eighth graders, I belonged to the Legion of Mary. And actually the Wurttemberger family, their grandmother ran the Legion of Mary. And um, we learned about um, that saint at that time. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the apostles, teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. All came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, they spent much time together in the temple. They broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Let us pray with the words Jesus taught us as we keep in our hearts the prayers in our school intercessory book. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you to... Berkeley and 7R. Berkeley, when I heard what your um, parents submitted about what a great job you're doing, it brought tears to my eyes because you're doing such a great job. And I know this same thing is going on in homes for all of our school families. And parents, let me just say thank you. And children, let me say thank you. Our good teachers are working hard and we wish we could be there with you. But we're so proud of how hard you're working and we're so excited for next school year to be together again. Berkeley has demonstrated a lot of generosity and patience during the last several weeks. She's always giving and willing to go the extra mile, but more recently she's recognized the additional need in our household for these unprecedented time and has really gone the extra mile. With two parents working, an older sister with multiple hours of high school responsibilities each day, and two younger siblings, she has really stepped up. Berkeley gets up extra early to get her own schoolwork done each day so she can help out with her siblings. Some days that's helping them with their school assignments, maybe making breakfast or lunch and planning activities to keep them busy and happy. Daily Berkey, Berkeley is unselfishly giving up her own free time to keep things running smoothly for our family and we are so grateful for her. Berkeley, I am so proud of you and um, all of you boys and girls who are working so hard at home um, during these times. I kind of have a little surprise. Um, first of all, remember today, this week is uniform violation, spirit activity. So take a picture, wearing your uniform, something you wouldn't be allowed to do at school, whether it be flip-flops, um, just something. Send it in to uniforms with an S, uniforms at popolatha.org so that we can put those together because I think you're going to be funny and actually we already have some and they're very funny but I want to share with you some exciting news for girls in fifth through seventh grade we have a new uniform option next year you know our skirts that the girls wear just have so many pleats and they're cute as can be the plaid but sometimes those pleats are just awkward um, the girls, it would be so nice if they could have some pockets occasionally to put some things in, um, in their skirt. 
And so there's a new option that really looks more like the high school option. It's only for girls in um, fifth through seventh grade. And here it is back when we still had school. At school, I took it with, they're sorry, there's books on my table. But this is it. So here you go. Here's the front and here's the back. And that will be available at Dennis Uniform and the girls in fifth through um, eighth grade can wear this. Now you can't really tell, but it is a skort underneath here. Um, it's a lot like the black skort, but just a different option for the older girls. And it looks really like the high school uniform skirt. So I think a lot of you, you can still wear the pleated ones. There's no need to worry about that. But if you would rather um, also have this as an option, it's available. So I'm, And it has pockets, so that's good too. Um, our used uniform sale, it, we're going to wait and have that in the fall before school starts. So as you're getting your crazy uniform outfits together this week, um, and then you might be putting uniforms away, just make a bag for the used uniform sale or get them all ready now, and then they'll be ready to go in the fall. We're also planning a special drop-off day for everyone to drop their things, their books and things that they have that belong to school home, back to school. And at that time, you'll get your yearbooks. Eighth graders who have not gotten um, graduation pictures yet, we have those in. We'll have the eighth grade field day t-shirts for the eighth graders, other things to give to you, your family. We'll have a list for each family of what you have at home that we expect back that you need to bring to school. And we'll get that list out to all the families ahead of time. So you can double check and make sure you have everything ready to go for us. We think our paras who are working really hard with that. So it is Tuesday. It is like super beautiful out this morning. I've been out this morning already for a walk. It's lovely, it's supposed to rain later. So boys and girls, if you can just get outside for a while this morning, please do so. And I'm proud of you, keep it up. We see the finish line coming ahead. We just need to keep working hard. It's gonna be a glorious day when we're back together in the fall. I'm super excited. Have a great day.